hello, Peter Holt. I'm a I'm an associate um, here in uh, the Arup. Um, my specialism is in stormwater management and in blue green infrastructure and nature based solutions. So, why am I talking on digital? Well, I'm quite astonished. I have, I'm even talking on digital, but it's been quite a journey. Talking about Mansfield, where we're doing work for Seven Trent Water, looking at a whole town uh, in infrastructure, blue green infrastructure across the whole town. Um, I'll start with a big picture why before moving into more the digital story. Uh, so first of all, um, the traditional or conventional drainage <clears throat> basically fundamentally ends up with uh, the problems that you're probably seeing play out in the news, combined sewer overflows, surface against sewage uh, raising issues and spills to the environment that aren't great. And that's due to finite capacity in our sewer systems that are um, finite by their very nature and um, they also don't help in terms of they concentrate pollutants into the water and don't treat it at source and it, it fundamentally is draining um, uh, hard surfaces using it get it away quick we want to hide it uh, sort of mentality which we've uh, through the years have discovered is there's a better way to do it and that is through using blue-green infrastructure or sustainable drainage suds, as you may or may not have heard it. And you may, in our city, have seen that there is uh, <coughs> examples greater green along the river um, Don, near Ladies Bridge, that photo is taken. That's a rain garden draining the adjacent hard standing. And fundamentally, in the, uh, the picture here in the top, left there it's how we're currently traditionally draining lots of hard surfaces that concentrate the flow that has to be dealt with often down gullies and pipes whereas actually with sustainable draining we're advocating more of a mimicking nature so slowing that flow down and in the process cleaning it up and um, managing it in a better way that benefits uh, biodiversity with increased planting and the residents and society hopefully and if you've walked along um, the greater green hopefully you would appreciate it more than just a gully in the street so um, where does the digital story for Mansfield begin well Shanghai that's a picture of Shanghai not the west of Mansfield is is um, an odd place to start a city of 20 million at least <clears throat> and um, 650 kilometers square was a study area that we as Arab and the team I was in applied and won an international competition. They needed a drainage master plan that wasn't $40 billion worth of um, <coughs> gray uh, below ground huge tunnels. They're, they were challenged by their mayor to say, <coughs> we wanna do it better. And we came up with a blue, green and gray solution that use these sorts of suds techniques. But in doing that competition, we actually started to develop <coughs> our own digital tool to do this. So using satellite imagery and algorithms and, and machine learning, we were able to assess um, huge tracts of land into what uh, typologies from which as a, a drainage and um, a civil engineer we we use for drainage but if you're a planner a transport planner you could use a typology methods for, for other uh, purposes but but using terrain with satellite data we were able to quickly we were able to develop this technique and and uh, service that is able to assess uh, huge areas and you may have heard of sponge city index which we launched last year where we did this <coughs> how spongy are, are these different cities around the globe so <clears throat> we applied the um to mansfield uh the this technique because um covid many people haven't heard of it but at the back in in the summer of 2020 the off what re recognized that as a water industry we needed to respond better how could we how could they prompt the water industry to respond to build back greener and better innovative in a more resilient way <clears throat> and as a result they um pit, they asked for ideas from the water company we were employed by uh, seven trent to come up with a, an idea for a, a, an example town pilot town 
in, and that being Mansfield, how could we do something different? And we proposed a blue-green solution across the whole town to build in as much um, uh, blue-green infrastructure and, and thus volume to store stormwater as possible. And how would you do that quickly and literally in a couple of weeks? Using the terrain tech, digital technique with uh, the, the, the typologies approach to and then our stormwater expertise, we were able to quantify how much storage and uh, for each type of bits of the town. So that's your residential, it's your terraced your streets, and able to give them a, um, a comprehensive sort of um, uh, report, including quantifying multiple benefits. And I hinted at this earlier that the these techniques compared to a gully and a piece of concrete can actually build in wellness and like suddenly healthcare and the value to the society of the health is suddenly a huge thing that can be quantified by my uh, colleagues uh, sort of in the economic side of things <clears throat> so good news they won the competition for uh, that project won it along with some other projects 85 million pounds is they're allowed to invest to um, build out um, the largest in the UK and possibly the world uh, retrofit um, uh, blue-green infrastructure scheme. 58,000 metres cubed of water is stored from uh, and storms. And fundamentally, they have to build it by March 2025, so very quick. <coughs> Ultimately, to work to improve flood risk and a side benefit is help improve the spills that go to river when when uh, storms are uh, exceed the capacity of the uh, um, sewers, so they um, can help improve the water quality in the rivers. Gosh, time's ticking. That's that's a master plan, but how do you actually deliver it in a really crazy time? So uh, myself and other colleagues realised Semtrent needed a strategy, and digital techniques and data use could be the way to unlock it so using uh, so we then had to get from a sort of more conceptual idea into street by street and here's a, a GIS showing the output from it as well as providing feedback on project progress with a strategy <coughs> and enabling the design process to work more smoothly so using OS master map data and uh, national receptor database our algorithms and placement rules where can you put a rain garden you don't want it in front of someone's drive you don't want it in front of a um, bus stop for instance through to enabling every single street meter by meter and both sides of the street measuring the width, digitally measuring the widths of footpaths etc etc to quantify using again our stormwater expertise the the the, the total unconstrained opportunity and from that, Seven Trent, we were able to work with them to say, right, okay, based on our experience, the gas mains and likely to reduce the number, but as a result, get to a figure that everyone was happy with and they could award contracts confidently under. Data's all wonderful and good, <clears throat> but if you can't visualise it, especially if um, colleagues and clients aren't a spreadsheet geek, they sometimes need to interact with it in a different way and as part of the project we developed a interactive visualizer they they can use different scenarios and we work with them to come up with different scenarios so they could many ways to skin a cat as they say and we were able to then um, give them this to then really be able to delve into the deep um, recesses of those um, scenarios to come up with the strategy that they as a company were happy with and from which they could award contracts and make life simpler, but then also measure their progress going forward. And there, there's ideas for having that so that the public in future might be able to dive in and the sort of uh, classic thermometer on a church type concept, how are we doing? So in conclusion, we uh, used our uh, expertise in stormwater management and to uh, develop digital techniques to uh, assess large cities and lattices. That's a terrain tool to, to help with the typology type concept. We um, enabled strategies for delivery so that the 
Seven Trent could um, sort of monitor how they're doing and work out if they've got an issue. And I'm just over time. I've not really touched on the fact that within our teams, we're using automation such as FME scripting and Python, all a foreign language to me, I'm afraid, but my colleagues in the team are using them every day to just help improve. And um, as a humble civil engineer, I'm astonished I'm even still, still talking about um, digital, but the fundamental big why are we doing it is to drain Mansfield more sustainably so that fundamentally we can help improve flood risk, water quality, help biodiversity and hopefully as the photo testifies and that, that was taken very recently the new new uh, rain garden help people of Mansfield uh, have a, an enhanced place to live. I'm very sorry I'm 50 seconds over. <laughs>